We're here on the Benchmark stand. Uh, regular readers of Sound on Sound will know that I'm quite a fan of Benchmark converters and I've been running a DAC1 for a long time. And very recently I've just reviewed the DAC2 HGC and John Xiao here uh, to tell us about the variations on the model. So this is the original, the DAC2 HGC, which is a fantastic product. Well, thank you. Uh, we introduced this in uh, December of last year and uh, uh, this, ha this features our hybrid gain control. Mm. Analog signals are handled in the analog domain. Digital signals are handled 32-bit. Uh, There's a 32-bit data path between the uh, volume control, which is controlled by this rotary knob, sure. and the uh, uh, Sabre uh, DAC chip. We're mm -hmm. actually running uh, four uh, Sabre channels in parallel uh, to get a better, get uh, signal, to no yeah. better signal to noise yeah, ratio. Yeah. One of the key things is that we're running three and a half dB of extra headroom in the DSP yeah. is really important to eliminate uh, intersample overs. Absolutely, it makes a big difference. It's surprising what a difference it makes. Yeah. yeah. So these other two versions, the DAC2D and the DAC2L, all based on the same technology. Yeah, so they're, they're two different variations on the same product. Uh, we actually use the same printed circuit board in each. There is no difference sonically mm -hmm. uh, in the three products, uh, but there is a difference in features. Uh, the DAC2D, the D stands for digital only, so it, ha it doesn't have the, uh, the, the two analog inputs. It's designed for the customers that don't, don't need uh, the analog inputs, but sure. just need the digital inputs. It also doesn't have the 12 volt trigger feature, which okay. is really, a, a, in a lot of cases, a home hi-fi feature. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. uh, then, so we introduced that in uh, March of, uh, of this year, mm -hmm. and then uh, right around uh, June or July, we introduced uh, the third uh, product in the family, which is the DAC 2L. Mm -hmm. uh, we always have some customers that say, I really don't need the uh, headphone amplifier. Right. Uh, can you give me a product at a little lower cost uh, without the headphone amplifier? And, okay. and that's what the DAC 2L is about. It has all the features of the HGC. So it still has the analog inputs? Still has the analog inputs. Okay. Uh, has the 12 volt trigger. Right. Uh, has the remote control. Uh, all of these have remote control. Sure. And, uh, uh, but eliminates the headphone amplifier. Okay. So what sort of prices are we talking about? Uh, it's uh, $19.95 uh, for the HGC, mm -hmm. and these two boxes are both the same price. They're both $17.95, so you can choose whether you want which to delete the, you which functions you want to delete. Right, okay. And you're continuing the DAC1 in your product range for the Absolutely, time being. absolutely. Yeah. It's still a uh, fabulously popular product. Mm -hmm. It's really become uh, an industry standard and uh, a lot of people still uh, really like the DAC-1 and, yeah. and uh, so we still uh, sell uh, quite a few DAC-1s. Good, and what's the price on the DAC-1, just uh, for comparison? The, the base uh, DAC-1 uh, is 995. It's been been at that price point uh, for, for, uh, for its, own, its entire product life, right. uh, basically. Uh, we have uh, uh, the next model up is the DAC One USB, mm -hmm. uh, which is two hundred dollars more. It gives you the uh, USB. Uh, that's a USB one point zero, yes. uh, one point one. So yep. it's limited to ninety six K. It's a great USB connection, but it won't do one ninety two sure. like the like, like the, the DAC, DAC two, two will. Yeah. DAC 2s also uh, feature uh, DSD uh, uh, compatibility, so we yes. can play DSD. Uh, through through the uh, USB or actually through any of the uh, the, the other models. digital inputs. Yeah. Um, basically, a lot of feature differences as well between the old DAC one and uh, DAC two sure. uh, product families. Yes, but it's still a very attractive price. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much, John. Oh, you're welcome.